Hi friends, welcome back for another video. This is episode three of our 1963 Fixer Upper series. So if you're interested in seeing more on that, I will have the playlist linked down below. Today, you will see us power wash the exterior of the house. I will be removing the old hardware from the kitchen cabinets and prepping the cabinets for a new coat of paint. Just will be taking down these old and busted garage door openers and we find some memories left behind by the previous family. So let's get right into the video. Enjoy! I know that you are having a hard time right now. That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to put your trust into us And we will help you through Cause we only want what's best What's best for you I know that you are having trouble Believing right now That everything is gonna be Is gonna be alright I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to put your trust into us and we will help Just had just bought this power washer and he was so excited to try it out You know what they say about boys and their toys um, I had never used a power washer before, so he was also showing me how to use it. I will say that it was amazing to watch the cleaning happen in person. I mean, watching the footage back now is neat, but it's just more satisfying to see it in person. The before and after of this brick here was the most satisfying to see. Um, so just did the front of the house, and then he sets everything up for me to help wash the back of the house, which you'll see in a bit. Trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best What's best for you For you What is best for you Okay, so moving inside, so if you remember from episode 1, I decided to remove all of the cabinet doors in the kitchen to help air out the cabinets and I thought, why not give them a fresh cone of paint since they're already off? So here I am prepping the cabinet doors for paint. I start by removing all of the old copper hardware, then you'll see me take them outside and scrub them clean with a degreaser. I'm taking you all the way Cause my heart screams, let me carry you home Bright lights and colors Love is for the ones who dare to wait No use in running 
The cabinets, including the hardware, are all original to the house being built in 1963, and I wanted to show some close-ups of the dirt and grease that had built up over the years behind the hardware. I was um, shocked to see what was left behind after I removed some of this. Um, and then after this, you'll see that I use a degreaser, nothing fancy, just one I found at the dollar store, and I scrubbed these doors down as best I could. It's been moving from my heart Anywhere we go is where I'm not sure if I'm going to just clean and reuse the original copper hardware or completely replace them so I just use this wood filler to fill in all the holes just in case I decide on new hardware this is as far as I got in this video with prepping the kitchen cabinets if you want to see more of the painting process and other kitchen updates don't forget to hit that like button that's the easiest way to let me know you enjoy this type of content now we're gonna head back outside to watch just take down two old and broken garage door openers um, while you guys watch I'll supervise and when the lights come on The music is fading But this is our favorite part I used to feel like an outcast But I think I'm alright We tried looking for a date on these garage door openers but couldn't find one. They could be original to the house but I found photos of similar Sears brand automatic door openers made in the 70s so either way these were definitely vintage Here, Jess is taking down this board with writing on it. Now, on the side you see here, it says Kim Plus, and we couldn't tell if it was Austin or August or Augusta. Let me know in the comments what you think it is. But on the other side here, it says Kim will kiss him, K plus A. Isn't that cute? We just thought it was so neat that we found memories from a family, most likely the kids, who lived in this home before us. So I'm happy now Hey darling Can I 
I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Coming up in the next episode, just mends this old horse fence. I give this fireplace a makeover and you're not gonna wanna miss the before and after of that. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post it. Also, we discovered just how bad the roof and gutters are during our first big rainstorm in this old fixer upper. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on your way out and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!